know some booties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, cause we get in baddies over here. All right, before I start today's video, bow! Magnetic by Mr. Cologne is on sale, flash sale right now, $50. Don't get much lower than that. It's never gone lower than that, but you know, they going fast, so you know what I'm saying? We getting them out the door. Get it before they gone. Best smelling cologne for under $100, only $50 right now. Oh my God. Whew. Irresistible. Link in the description. Anyways, today's video, she wants you to chase her. Don't. Don't do it. She want you to run after her full speed. Baby, come back. I'm sorry. Begging, pleading, sipping, being down bad, beta Billy. A lot of you guys probably fell into the traps and you did this. But you could have, you know what I mean, hit me up first. First link in the description, booked a Zoom call and not done none of that. I've had a lot of successful Zoom calls, a lot of y'all getting your girl back. Because we strategize. But when you don't strategize and you just go out there into the world and think that you got it under control, right? And you just act based off of emotions like women do, you don't get the right results. You get her looking at you like a sucker, like a fool, like a clown. Like, oh, I got him right where I need him, right where I want him. Telling all my girlfriends how weak and beta he is and pathetic. Meanwhile, I'm getting flown out to Miami to get <laughs> bent over a balcony and my cheeks clap. That's what she know. It's not a good feeling. My brother ripped your heart out, threw it on the ground, stomped on it. Flat line. Now you at home crying. Look, man. Whatever women want you to do, for the most part, typically speaking, you should be doing the opposite. Because women tell you to do one thing. Yeah, I want a guy that treats me like this, is always there, loves me, puts me before anybody and anything. It's just, just 100% all about me. I want them to open the door for me. I want them to treat me with love and respect. Kind of, cool. Be Mr. Nice Guy. Look, I'm not telling you, I'm not preaching for you to be an a-hole. Don't do that. Don't be rude. Don't be disrespectful. But don't prioritize her. Never put her first. You put yourself first. Well, you know, if you believe in God or, or religion or whatever, put that first, whatever you believe in, higher power. Then put yourself, put your family, you know. Family or you could be, you know what I mean? It depends on your your moral values. And that's, that's a personal preference. But those are like... Side by side, those kind of like go together. You and your family should be like, you know what I mean? Um, before anything else, friends and then your girl. But no, bro, like me and my girl, we're besties, like we're best friends. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, that's the problem. Y'all becoming besties with your girl. That's not your best friend. That is your girlfriend. Someone that is sexually attracted to you as a man that's going, you know what I mean? Provide and protect. Not to pour out all her problems and issues and trauma dump on you. And she don't look at you as somebody to do her nails with. Sitting up having slumber parties. Watching Mean Girls. I just did a Mean Girls skit, so. <laughs> it was fresh in my mind. It was just for the skit, y'all. It's for the skit. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. Um, yeah, man. You, you need to differentiate this. Because y'all crossing and mixing the lines of we're friends, but we're lovers. We're lovers and friends. This isn't an Usher song, my boy. This is real life. You have to separate, oh, we're cool, we're friends, we're, we're, we're really close, we're talking all the time, we're doing all this, and then, you know, we hook up too. Nah, she's gotta feel like she's earning and trying to just get any attention from you that she can, any time that she can get, any energy, not you're always there, you're always available. This is why she don't respect you, and this is why when she dumps you, she expects you to chase after her because that's what a be the bestie would do. No, come back, bestie. We out for Andy. What he doing? Cool. She don't see my words. She don't see my value. I move on. I got baddies on the roster. That's why I tell y'all get your roster up. Cause she breaks up with you, you have nothing to fall back on. You put your eggs all in that basket. You gotta have a basket full of baddies. A baddie basket. You feel me? So now, when stuff hits the fan, you got a fall back plan. You can start hanging out, mingling with them. I'm not saying you gotta clap their cheeks, but hey, if it needs be, it needs be. Yeah, hey, New York, hey, my brother. Um, yeah, man, you can't be relying on her to be there all the time. Women are hot and cold. She gonna say that, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying before, if you're doing all these simp things because she said, I want this, I want that. The second you do that, 
The second she, she freaks out, like, oh my gosh, I just don't know. I just think that we need time apart. I just, something's missing. But I thought you said you wanted a man that was going to do all these things. I thought you said you wanted a sim beta male, right? And if she does notice these things and keeps you around, she's going to start doing her own thing. She's going to start cheating and start going behind your back, creeping, you know, getting her. Oh, cheats clap by Andy. Andy's supposed to be you, bro. Andy was supposed to be you since day one. You're supposed to be watching these videos becoming Andy every single day. But instead, you know, you probably cherry picked the videos. You probably watch some and then you're like, okay, well, this is how I get her. You know, you know this is how I approach. All right, cool. I'm gonna read the, the pickup lines in the ebook. If you haven't got that, download that. Oh, I'm a, I'm gonna look at the pickup lines in the master class. We haven't got that download. Oh, I'm a, you know, just spray the magnetic cologne because it's on a flash sale for only $50. I'm just gonna spray it on and then attract all the baddies. And then I got, I got the baddies. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't got that, got that. Um, Yeah, you did all these things to initiate attraction, right? And then guess what? You got the attraction. You're like, okay, that worked. Okay, this worked too. Yeah, I'm a baddie collector. Start collecting baddies. But then what happens? You fall off of it. You fall off doing the work, maintaining it. It's just like if you get a brand new car, let's say you got a brand new Ferrari. You gotta maintain that thing. You gotta make sure it gets the oil change, get a checkup, rotate the tires, you know, wash the car, keep it clean, keep it fresh. You gotta maintain it. It's just as important as when you first get it. Cause you don't want it to be all beat up and rough and it's not working right. Then you gotta take it to the shop. And then, you know, it's in there for weeks, spending all this money on it. It's going downhill, my bruh. It's the same with women. It's the same with your game. You have to keep it sharp. Stay doing what's needed. Don't get comfortable. But yeah, man, don't chase her. Because once you don't chase her and she realizes this and you start watching the videos, you hit me up on the Zoom calls, you spraying your cologne, you working out, you eating right, you vibing, you living your life, you posting it on social media, hanging out with your friends, your family, you're doing your own thing, your money's up. He's just, you that dude, you're Hemothy. She's gonna see that. She's gonna see you're not chasing her. She's gonna regret it. She's gonna slowly creep back into your life, breadcrumbing you. Um, hello? <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> just checking in. Get out of here with that. We'll check in with the next sucker. Cause you took me for granted, baby. I was pouring out my heart for you. Probably shouldn't have, but I was doing it. You didn't appreciate it, you know? So. Keep it moving, keep it pushing. But if she apologizes and comes at you correctly and really genuinely wants to work it out and you both want to work it out, cool, start fresh. But don't just jump back into where y'all were before. She's got to prove that, all right, this time is going to be different because you're in the power seat. But anyways, that is it for the video for today. If you guys liked it, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download Attraction Made Easy Masterclass. Book you a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call. And until next time, focus on you and the women will too. I know some beauties in Cali. They all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas. They all be showing affection.